I'm Dr. Richard DeAndrea. It was a long journey to make it here. Gabon, the Tibet of Africa. People from around the world are drawn here for one specific reason. They have a bush here they call iboga. They say that when you eat from this bush that there are miraculous cures, but some who've eaten from this bush have died. Is it a miracle cure or a death sentence? That's what I hope to find out. But here we are in the town of Libreville, the largest city in Gabon. And we come here because there's a compound called Ibondo, where people from around the world could come together to experience the power of Iboga. But there's one special thing about this place. We have a Western shaman here, the first in the world. His name is Totoyo, and I'm anxious to meet him. Tatayo is obviously a product of the 60s, you know, he's an old hippie. And then Tatayo, the first white initiate, the first white man to take a boga and be initiated into Buiti, was this crazy fucking hippie. It's this amazing character. He's the white Nganga, you know, he's, he's a, known as the white wolf. <laughs> Several people have written books about him as well, and all the work he's carried out with the pygmies here to, to um, preserve the um, natural resources. The Buiti father uh, Motamba, which is very respected in Gabon, says. Uh, Iboga is for everybody, even for little birds. How is it that the most powerful part of the plant is in the dark part of the earth? Yes. And yes. then the above part is in the, the light? The above part is in the light as other reason to exist. So this guy, this tree is very sharp. Mm -hmm. And if you do wrong, it will do you wrong. Not the tree, yourself. I, I don't like this thing of bad and good. Uh, but I know it's a, it's a kind of everybody talks about that, eh? mm -hmm. bad and good and good and bad. Mm -hmm. If you have a very good intent, Iboga will help you. Hmm. If you have a bad intent, you'll be fucked up. So the main thing, like with anything, is you could say a lot of words, but what your intention is, especially with these sacred plants, is you the most important. You can talk, talk, talk. If it's not true, the plant knows. You're always forgiven if uh, you don't know that what uh, you did wrong is wrong. But something you know that you did wrong, because if you're not true to yourself, Iboga fucks you up. <laughs> There's a big problem in this world that many people are lost. They're just lost. They don't know where. They, they, they don't know where they go, you know? They don't have any goal. This is my sixth time in Gabon now, so obviously there's, uh, there's been something for me to dig here. The first time I heard the word Buiti, or Aboga, or Ibogaine, I was injecting heroin on the Lower East Side of New York in 1991. I took a lot of drugs in my past. I was on heroin, cocaine, and methadone. I was addicted to um, opium. Uh, but my drug use spanned over 20 years. When I assisted, there was my spiritual father who always pulled me towards the Buiti. Et mon père spirituel me donnait la racine, mais cette racine-là m'a révélé beaucoup à moi que si si je suivais vraiment cette route, je ne devais même plus être là aujourd'hui, quoi. Generally, um, the effects start between, you know, the first 30 minutes to one hour. And you know, something that is holy, uh, something that is pure, you know. You, you must accept it naturally, you must accept it, you mustn't fight it, you know? And you see most of the people, when they take Iboga, it goes like, wow, God. It's quite disgusting. 
It's really disgusting. It's very bitter, and uh, if you if you just take a couple of spoonful a day, it's 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 all right. But when you undergo the uh, ceremony, you have to take sometimes 20, sometimes 30 uh, spoonfuls, and and then you're it's really really bad. So. I had to do a boga for three solid days eating it because I was on methadone and there's a whole spirit to that. Three solid days of, of uh, sitting in a, in, a, in a dark room, being very well taken care of and loved, but sitting in a dark room without the technology of Bwiti. Um, let me just say, in small doses, it's fun. Okay, a lot of people don't want to say that. In small doses, it's fun and it's safe. I know that's not getting in, but I'm saying anyways. <laughs> Authenticity, ritual, and history would help people in the West to understand that there is much more to Iboga than just another experience. It takes you through a path, on a journey, that that authenticity and that structure helps people to find a way and helps them to see how that they can use the substance for healing rather than allowing it to use them. The amount of energy rushing through that room was like a volcano had exploded. We've been going at this since 11 p.m. It's now daytime. We go till daytime. They will continue doing this until the afternoon. People will stay up dancing consistently for 12, 16 hours going in and out of there. The shaman's constantly producing energy. The object is to come to daylight so that the shaman is reborn into a new place. This idea of light of day, meaning that he's passing to light. <laughs> Ça sert à tracer la route mystiquement, spirituellement. Et tu t'habilles, tu interprètes l'accoutrement de ton génie à travers ton corps. Bwiti has so many different things. Music, dance, a boga, the knowledge of the trees, that this is a living planet, that this is a living universe, that's a boga, that's Bwiti. That, and, and dance is an expression of that. Just a big, slow-moving animal, that's all. Kind of looks like the foot of an elephant, doesn't it? The dance is important. You can express different things. You can express your joy, you can express your anger, you can dance like an animal. You, uh, there's a dance for war, there's a dance for joy, there's a dance to mourn, you know? That's the physical expression of what you have, you know, inside. For us, detox is a total, for us Gabonese, I say, it, uh, detox is a total, uh, Trailer. It's a tra It's a small trailer behind. You know. I mean, it's not the matter. The matter is to meet yourself. De vraiment de voir la plante leur propre plante utile quoi. Et c'est vraiment très important. Et on veut encore que les occidentaux viennent encore plus au Gabon pour vraiment prendre cette plante. Our quest from the open arms of America to the deep rainforest of Central Africa has left me with a sense of mystery, intrigue, and illumination. In weighing in on the healing power of Iboga, it seems more questions arise. Certainly shamans, doctors, and patients believe that Iboga has the power to change lives. But it is not so much the substance that is in question, as much as how it is used. When there is a connection to the ceremony, to the universe, to the spirit, there is much more to Iboga than just another experience. I'm Dr. Richard DeAndrea. Be well. No, it's not you. Et toi, tu es déjà trop vilain comme ça. Voilà. Maintenant, après, on dit qu'il y a un peu de cahier. Pour cahier. Encore, 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 encore. Pour cahier. Encore, encore, encore.